Hey, well, it's been a long time coming that I've forgotten really um, that I was going to post about my AZ400 experience of the gain the qualification. So, gain the qualification, had a really good score. Um, what can I say about it really? I mean, I posted it on LinkedIn some time ago and there was something that was bugging me about gaining the qualification. Because gaining qualification was a hard, very hard, excruciating, um, not course, but qualification in the game. I went through all the modules. So the content that I use was, I use all the free content from the Microsoft. I sign up to Azure DevOps because that's what the exam is primarily about. Um, I've got over, I think, six, seven years experience about you know, Xur and DevOps and the whole ethos about it. But I think the point of this video that I'm trying to actually say is, is that look, these qualifications that people gain, the, the sad thing is, as soon as you gain the qualification, it's renewed, updated or redundant, obsolete. Seriously. I mean, it's a crazy world we're living in today. So I've passed the qualification, I've got the qualification, but literally, Two weeks afterwards, they updated it. So I thought, screw that dude. I am not spending more time updating that qualification. No way, no way, Jose. And I thought, well, why why do these certs anymore? I mean, everyone's doing them and posting them on LinkedIn and then just saying, hey, look at me, you know, I've passed the qualification. And I thought, there must be more. I'm in that mindset of getting the qualification, sharing it on LinkedIn, and showing my, you know, clients that I do have these certs and talk about the certs. But there's something hollow, shallow, and very all about that. And not fulfilling. But I found this guy online. This dude here, a Python programmer. Now, I'm, the reason why I'm showing you this gentleman is because I'm taking a line from him and I can't take credit from it. And that is, is that when you pass a qualification or if you're going about trying to learn a particular topic, you should not learn the particular topic in its entirety. You should try to learn the topic so that you can fix issues, problems, find solutions. So I'm mentoring, I think my count now is 15 people on a monthly basis. And when I tell them about this new mindset change of when you are studying for your qualification, try to understand the topic about having to solve problems. It makes it more enjoyable. It's actually adding more value to you, to their clients. And, you know, it's a way better approach. So, if I help you today, great. I'll be making more content. I'll be telling you about things I have found in the industry that's changing because of COVID. Uh, more work from home, which is awesome. Um, but more or less, how to get your own clients. You know, I took it for granted that I thought that everyone in the contracting world had evolved over to the next step. And maybe I should, you know, help some people out into how I've gathered my own clients and starting to, you know, get more one-to-one -one service. So if you like that idea, just write it down below in, this, in down there, wherever. And, you know, hopefully we could do something together. It's all about helping. Don't worry. I'm not here for the money. I'm here to help people out because it's tough times out there. See you soon.